as smaller churches grow, there's a risk that people may feel less connected with one another and to realize that they don't know everyone closely anymore. The strategic design team wrote this goal related to small group ministries to try and provide a viable framework for our growing church to still have a lively sense of connectedness with one another and with God. As membership grows, it is absolutely crucial for people to have access to multiple avenues of small group participation and to be encouraged to jump in. In gathering regularly together in small groups, we are able to build strong, trusting relationships that provide a comfortable means of sharing the ups and downs of our everyday lives and faith journeys. The small group ministry goal states, by December 2024, St. John's will have 75% of parish family units with at least one individual involved in a small relational group. These groups will help newcomers build relationships with the parish community, strengthen our bonds as a loving community over time, and contribute to parishioners' spiritual growth. There may be various types of small groups, such as spiritual formation groups, like Sophia Sisters or Men's Bible Study, affinity groups primarily for fellowship, like the soloists or families with young children, and or age-related groups, such as SAGES or EYC. In addition, our serving groups or committees, such as Wake Forest Community Table, Berger Guild, Stewardship Committee, etc., will include relationship building practices as part of their serving together in spiritual reflection, sharing prayer concerns with the group and responding as a group to parish care needs. St. John's for a long time has been trying to grow. And it's funny because in the last few years, I don't think we've been trying um, as much as it's just been happening. And if you look at why it's happening, it's because of the programs and the passion that people have inside of these various programs. Um, the connectedness comes because they're doing things that they really want to do. So as an example, there's a hiking group and these are people that all love hiking and they get together around a similar like-minded activity and enjoy nature and develop those trusted bonds. The more we do of that, uh, the more we'll see growth, positive growth at St. John's. Success of this goal is going to mean that those relationships, that connectedness, the energy just rolls out into the world and it draws other people in. In order for church to feel like home, there has to be a sense of connectedness, a sense of belonging. When we do feel connected, when we do feel that sense of family and that sense of belonging, I think we can be more effective uh, disciples of Christ out in the world.